Train services in Singapore between Jurong East and Buena Vista will continue to be suspended tomorrow. Services on the east-west line were disrupted for a longer stretch between Boon Lay and Queenstown MRT stations from 9.25 a.m. today. Now, operator SMRT says an old train encountered a fault at around 9 a.m. Some 850 commuters were forced to leave the train and walk to Clementi Station. Now, the train began emitting smoke while it was returning to the depot. SMRT says the defective axle box had dropped, causing the wheels to come off the rail and hit track equipment. The power tripped, stalling all trains between Boon Lay and Queenstown stations. In the latest update, the Land Transport Authority says the damage to tracks is extensive and more time is needed to make the necessary repairs and replacements. Now, for the latest on this situation, our reporter Geraldine Yap joins us live near Jurong East MRT station. Uh, Geraldine, you were there throughout the whole evening rush hour. What's the latest? Yes, Sha, I'm at the bus stop where affected commuters can catch the free buses from Zhuang East heading in the direction of Queenstown. And um, as you can see behind me, the queue actually has gotten a lot shorter because we're past the, the evening rush hour. But earlier at around 6 p.m. onwards, all the way to about 8 p.m., there was a long queue of commuters waiting for the bus and, and that stretched from the bus stop for about at least three, four hundred meters all the way down this pedestrian walkway that I'm standing at. And even across the road, um, at the other bus stop for the buses heading in the direction of Bunde, there was also quite a crowd, but I think not as much as uh, on our side because there are shuttle trains that are running from Zhuang East to Bunde, so that's another option for commuters who are stranded. Now, um, the overall situation here actually was quite orderly and, uh, you know, we saw police officers, we saw SMRT, LTA staff on the ground to help manage the situation and the buses actually were coming every few minutes, including the free bridging services as well as the regular services. So um, there was a line, but the line did move quite quickly and quite smoothly. Now, Jurong East is a major interchange on not just the East-West line, but also the North-South line. So I think you can just imagine the number of people who have to pass through this area every day, um, you know, to get to work or to get home. And that's why we saw the crowds that we, we, we saw earlier. And I spoke to some commuters who were waiting in line earlier. Some of them told me that they had to wait about 30 minutes to get on the buses. How long have you been? Maybe more than half an hour already. I wanted to take Grab, but uh, it's quite uh, expensive to me. La. Yeah, la. So just queuing off. I think no need. La. Just wait for the line. Hopefully it will settle down. No need to rush like that. La. You're already going back. What? You're not going to work. Now, I understand that long queues were also observed at other stations along the affected stretch. So, for example, at Buena Vista, there were snaking queues observed throughout the night. And um, in response, LTA had actually deployed more buses to, uh, to be able to ferry all of those commuters to get them to where they need to be. Now, uh, I also understand that there were some, at some affected stations, uh, people were actually held outside the gantries because the staff had tried to manage the crowd situation inside the stations. Now, we can expect to see this situation continue until tomorrow because the disruption, as we understand, will continue tomorrow and there will still be free buses running from Bunle all the way to Queenstown. Jerry, thank you very much for that. Geraldine Yap there reporting live near Jurong East MRT station. Now, commutes took much longer as train services were suspended at nine stations for most of today. That is amid rush hour and a morning downpour. It is the third train disruption in just over a week. A gloomy start to the day for thousands of commuters. More than two hours after the initial fault, long lines for bridging bus services were seen outside some stations. Some told CNA they had waited up to 50 minutes. Security officers and the police were even deployed to manage the crowd. Going to work and I'm already running late, I'm very late after. The queues persisted even after the rain subsided. I feel uncomfortable because of uh, because I have to go with too many people in the bus, right? Uh, that's why. 
right now I'm supposed to go for my tuition at such a tree and because of the MRT um, I think I'm most likely gonna be late and I'm not used to taking the bus I've not taken the bus in a while so this is not gonna be really convenient during the evening rush hour, CNA observed lines for bus services grow as long as 400 metres at times. The situation was orderly, with buses arriving every few minutes. Authorities also provided shuttle trains running every 10 minutes between Boon Bay and Jurong East, as well as between Bonavista and Queenstown stations. For students taking the written papers of the primary school leaving examination, which begin tomorrow, the Singapore Examinations and Assessment Board is assuring them that they will not be penalised if they are late due to disruptions in train services. The board says students have been briefed on existing arrangements. Candidates will also be given the full duration of the paper if they reach the exam centre before the paper ends.